Hi friends, so in this video we are going to uh, see uh, what is interrupt. Interrupt is the, one of the uh, major topic in the operating system concepts. Basically interrupt is a signal. So signal means the signal can be generated from the hardware, particular hardware or the signal can be generated from the particular system, uh, program execution. So the first one, the signal from the hardware may be considered as a hardware interrupt. Signal from the particular program execution may be considered as a software interrupt. So, so how this signal can be generated? So during the execution of a particular program or during the system execution, if any error comes in the particular hardware, if the hardware fails, example if the keyboard fails or if the mouse fails, so at that time, so particular signal will be generated from the particular hardware or the particular uh, device attached with the system, that signal will be sent to the operating system. This is called interrupt. An example, if you are considering the program execution, if the program faces any error, say example, if any I.O. devices is not working, if the I.O. operation is not uh, suitable or not uh, executed, so at that time, that particular system, that particular program execution may generate a signal. So error signal will be generated. So that particular signal will come under the software interrupt. So here software interrupt also called as Trap. So trap is another name for a software interrupt. So hardware interrupt may not be solved because the hardware need to be, if any error comes in the hardware, the user need to give attention to that particular hardware. It need to be changed or it need to be taken care of. So that is the one thing. So here the hardware interrupt may not be solvable. So, so at that time the system will give a information or intimation to the user. So that's all. So that is a hardware interrupt. It comes to the software interrupt. The software Software interrupt can be considered as two different thing, two different uh, kinds. One is a solvable and non-solvable. So solvable means if any error comes in the program execution, so that error can be solved by a system routine. So that may be called as a solvable one. But if the another one is non-solvable, so at that time, so like hardware interrupt, so the system will give an intimation to the user. So if the solvable interrupt occurs, so what the system will do, system will stop the current program execution or the current operation will be stopped, then it will find the exact service routine, so interrupt service routine, so which type of interrupt has been occurred. So for that, the interrupt service routine will be identified, so that service routine will be taken, it will be executed then that particular interrupt will be solved then the program execution control will be given to the older one then the regular execution will be started so this is called software interrupt and this is how the software interrupt may be solved then one more advantage is there so nowadays if you're checking the programmers are using the interrupt for the multitasking so the if the operating system is in the uniprocessor system so at a time it can be uh, handle only one process at a time so if you want to change that particular characteristics, so what you can do, you can give an interrupt. So the programmer can use the interrupt to switch the control from one program to another program. So it can give a uh, facility of multitasking. So this is all about interrupt. So there are two types of interrupt. One is a hardware interrupt and second one is a software interrupt. So the software interrupt may be called as trap. So the software interrupt can be solvable by interrupt service routine. So interrupt service routine is a system programs. So list of system programs may be, may be with the operating system. So operating system will select the particular service routine according to which, which interrupt has been occurred. So based on that, the service routine will be taken. It will be supporting the problem solving of soft software interrupt. So this is all about interrupt. Thank you.